nine of them children. Dozens more are hurt, several still in critical condition tonight. New York City Mayor Eric Adams called it one of the worst fires in New York history. Hundreds of firefighters responded to the scene. It's now being blamed on an electric space heater that malfunctioned. Boston 25 News reporter Wale Ali Yu is live tonight. And Wale, you talked to local fire officials who have experience with these devastating fires. Yeah, Vanessa, but nothing like what we're seeing down in the Bronx, especially not in recent memory. But the local firefighters I've been speaking with throughout the state say, listen, this is a brotherhood. Many of them know or have spent time with some of New York's bravest. So everyone tonight feeling for those families. People banging on everybody's door, saying it's a fire, it's a fire. It was the worst fire in New York City in 30 years. 19 dead, including nine children. Dozens more injured. I received a phone call from somebody who's on the third floor where the fire was at. And I looked out the back of the window, and that's where we see, like, the fire just fighting outside the window. And they have to break open the windows to let people out. Firefighters found victims on all 19 floors during the high-rise inferno. The FDNY says about 200 firefighters responded to the fire that began in the Bronx around 11 a.m. Sunday due to a malfunctioning electric space heater. Those are staggering numbers. Worcester Acting Deputy Fire Chief Adam Roach says they've been following every step of the story, knowing the fire service community is so tight-knit. We've had a lot of members go down there for some of their events. They've obviously come up here for some of our funerals and events. So um, really, we our prayers and thoughts are with them. We wish everybody down there a speedy recovery and hope they can deal with this uh, in the coming days. I know it's going to be hard, a hard scene down there. And the FDNY commissioner says the fire began on the second and third floor, and it was an open door, guys, an open door, he says, that allowed the smoke to filter throughout the 19-story structure. For now, that's very latest. Live in Norwood tonight, Wale Aliou, Boston, 25 News. Just so awful, Wale. Thank you for that update. And this comes less than a week after the deadliest fire in Philadelphia in more than a century. Right now, investigators are looking at whether a five-year-old playing with the lighter set a Christmas tree on fire. That's according to a search warrant. Twelve people were killed in that fire, including eight children.